man, what in the world is happening right now? Do you feel like things are going crazy? Do you feel like everything around you is kind of falling apart? Do you feel like what you used to know and believe and have faith or foundation in is now kind of just slipping and fading away? Well, I'm gonna share with you a few of my thoughts and feelings about what's going on in the world right now, some of the things that I'm doing, and then I'm gonna invite you to join me on my journey and see if we can travel this crazy road together because things are getting crazy. Welcome to the channel. My name is Paris Clough and this is Financial Self-Reliance. I absolutely love helping people manage, protect, and grow their money. I would love it if you hit the like and subscribe button, but even if you don't hit the like and subscribe button, I appreciate the fact that you're just watching this video. I just wanted to have a real conversation with you guys today. There's a lot going on in the world right now. There's really, in my mind, so many topics, so many things happening that it's hard to focus in on one just for one video. So I just wanted to kind of take a minute and share some thoughts. For those of you who've been watching for a long time, you kind of have an idea of who I am and know my story. I'm married, I've got five kids. Uh, this year we're celebrating our 25th anniversary, so, and I absolutely love her more today than the day we were married, if that's even possible. But, uh, and I love my kids, all five of them. I've got kids ranging from eight years old to 22, I think. So honestly, in 2008, I lost everything. And it's, it's crazy to lose everything when you've got a family. Knowing that you've got to put food on the table to feed those mouths and it's just a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. In fact, at some point uh, I felt like I was spending more time in the fetal position with my thumb in my mouth rocking back and forth than actually being productive in business and in life. And some of those things uh, in life, some of those lessons we go through in life teach us some of our greatest lessons and some of the most resilience that we can ever create come from going through those things. And I'll be honest with you, I've, I've learned more than anything having gone through those situations. I wouldn't wish them on anybody else. I wouldn't even wish necessarily on my worst enemy to lose everything, to rebuild from scratch a whole lifestyle again. I didn't lose my family, thankfully. I didn't lose my wife and my kids, and but I lost my house, my cars. Everything was repossessed. Everything was foreclosed. I mean, I, I had a short sale on my house. I, I just, it's I know what it's like to lose everything and then have to restart. So the one thing that I really got out of that though was that the skill sets that I had would always be with me. Nobody could take those away. The relationships that I had, those couldn't be taken away. You can take away my money, you can take away my dollar bills, you can take away my stuff, my clothes, my things, my house, my cars, you can take all that away. But the one thing that never can be taken away is my willpower, my desire, my knowledge, and my relationships. If you stay focused in on those things, you'll be successful no matter what life throws at you. And so I want to kind of share with you some of the things that I'm doing personally in my life to kind of manage what's going on in the world right now. We're seeing nations. We're, in fact, I was talking with my wife the other day and she says, I feel like we're in a game of risk right now. I don't know if you ever remember the, the game of risk, but countries taking over countries. And it was is this crazy idea right now that the world is in turmoil and chaos and there's a purpose behind it. There's a reason for it. And I won't get into all the religious reasons and I believe in the Bible and I totally see what's going on as I read the book of Revelation and whatnot. But more importantly, I want you to realize that there are some real things at play right now and we've got to be prepared and we've got to be ready or else we're not going to be in a position where we're going to survive and thrive. And part of being prepared and ready is being self-reliant. That's one of the main reasons why I chose to make this channel about being self-reliant with our finances and your money, knowing and understanding that the skill sets and the mindsets that you have and that you create are really what creates wealth. The stock you pick, the Bitcoin you pick, the cryptocurrency, the business that you get into, the real estate that you may buy, all of that is just a, an appendage or a branch of the trunk, which is your knowledge, your skill set, your capacities, your, re your relationships. Those are the real things that create wealth in life, not which stock you picked. A couple of the things that I'm doing right now to be prepared is I'm just really taking inventory. I would sit down, if I were you, and this is what I'm doing, is just take inventory of where I am, where I've come from, where I am right now, Look at my finances, look at my income, look at my expenses, look at my savings, look at my investments. Am I really invested in the right things? Am I really saving my money in the right places? Is my income strong? Do I have different sources of income in case one dries up? Am I building separate sources of income? You know the old adage, multiple streams of income, and that's absolutely true, and I'm creating and developing multiple streams of income. I'm looking at my expenses. Am I living life larger than I should? Am I keeping things under control? Am I managing? Am I living within my means? Just really take some time to do some inventory, some personal inventory, and make sure that you are where, you're sh where you should be. And then take that information and figure out where you're gonna go from there. For example, do I want to keep buying things or do I want to get into a position where I'm going even more minimal, where I'm focusing in on the things that are important in life, like my relationships? Do I really need to have bigger cars, bigger speakers, bigger everything, or can I live life just having 
the comfort and knowing that I'm in a comfortable position. One of the things I've been doing this year is really reading books. I focused in on some really good books and there's one I'm reading right now called The Habit. And I'm gonna get more into the details of this, but there's some things out that I'm learning about and I've actually kind of had a, an idea about, but the reality of reading this book and having it actually on print showing me the things that they're doing, I realized that do I really have as much control of my life as I think I do? With all the commercials and the bombardment of the dopamine rush of the likes on Facebook and the likes on YouTube and the subscribers and all this stuff, is this really providing value in my life or is it controlling me? Am I controlling the, my life or is, are all these things outside of me being used against me to control me and get me to do things? It's part of taking inventory and making sure when you have a, whenever you have some chaos or some upset and some, some really kind of moments of clarity, you begin to realize, wait a minute, there's something going on here and I need to be more in control of what's happening to my life. Otherwise, everything's going to control me. You're either going to be in control or you're going to be controlled. And so I would prefer to live a life where I'm in control. I'm in the driver's seat. I'm telling people what my money is going to do, not having people tell me what they want with my money. I don't want to get too much into the weeds on this, but I'm telling you, there's some sophisticated software that these companies have, especially now that we're so digital. They know some things about us. Have you ever been talking with your friend about something and then all of a sudden on your Facebook feed or your Instagram feed or on YouTube, you see, uh, uh, something pops up, an advertisement pops up for that very thing? I'm telling you, there's some things going on that uh, behind the scenes that are real and we need to be aware of. And if we're not careful, we're going to let our habits and our subconscious spend our money for us and uh, we won't be in control of what's really happening. Happening. So what I'm doing in my life is I'm really making sure that I'm in control and being self-reliant. Like I want to know that I have control no matter what life throws at me, I have the ability to handle it. Whatever problems come, I can solve them. Whatever things happen, I can, even if I have to end up paying somebody, the fact of the matter is, is that I don't have to know everything, but being connected to people who know the things that I don't know is powerful. There's an old saying that goes along with that that says that I need to know what I know, I need to know who knows what I don't know, and then that's all I need to know. So I know what I know, I know what they know, and if it's something different than what I need to know, I can just use them and work together and collaborate and synergistically provide the results that I need in life, but I'm in control of that and I can have that. Now there's a difference between, be, between being self-reliant and being selfish and being independent and being selfish. We don't wanna be selfish where we're just on our own and nobody, we don't need anybody and you know we're isolating ourselves from the world or that's not what that's that's not what self-reliance is. Self-reliance is where you become independent and then you know what you need to do and how you can do it and how to solve problems and then you can collaborate with other people who can solve problems different ways than you can and together you can create a community of independent like-minded individuals who are self-reliant who could individually get the job done but would rather work with other people in a like-minded way to get the job done even better. That's what I think is a community of self-reliant individuals. That's what I'd like to create. If you'd like to be a part of that, hit the like and subscribe button. Jump over to Facebook, join my page there, join our Facebook group, get involved. Let's create a community of financially self-reliant individuals who are headed towards financial independence, but working together to create a community of like-minded individuals where your strengths and my strengths can come together and we can build each other. That's the whole point. I want to educate people on what to do with their money. Teach them the things that they should have been learning all along in school, all along in church, all along it in their families. Teach people about money, how it really works. What what are the rules? If you don't want to do what I do, what I do with my money, that's up to you. But knowing what the rules are, knowing the pros and cons of every decision in your finances is important to me. I think that it's important that people should know how things work. They should know the rules of money. They should know the pros, the cons, the yeses, the noes, whys and why nots. Once you know the whys and why nots, if you make a decision, good for you, go for it. But I hate when people come to me and they're like, well, I made this decision. Well, why did you do that? Well, because everybody else does it. That doesn't make any sense to me. Don't do things because everybody else is doing it. Do things because you know why it's right for you. That's what I'm saying when I try to teach people and educate people how to do those things. And then hopefully motivate them to then take action. Without action and motivation, all the education in the world does you no good. I, man, I know plenty of people that are broke, but they're brilliant. There's this, there's this one guy that I used to work with. The dude was brilliant. He was brilliant. I mean, he would come up with all kinds of facts and figures. 
but he was broke. Didn't do him much good to be so brilliant. I mean, I got a lot out of it because I had a chance to talk to him, but he was kind of socially awkward as well, so he really didn't have a lot of things going for him. But getting back to the point is that if you have the right education, you're properly motivated, and then you take action to make the world a better place for yourself first, you gotta work on you first, then you work on your spouse, then you work on your kids, then you work on your brothers and sisters, then you work on creating a community of like-minded people. Financially self-reliant individuals will create financially self-reliant families, which create financially self-reliant communities, which create financially self-reliant cities and states and nations and worlds, etc. That's the thing is that it begins with you. It begins with me. I, that's why I got to start with me. I'm, I'm telling you this because this is kind of an accountability session on myself. Like, what am I doing with myself? What am I doing with life? What am I doing with my finances? Am I doing the things that I'm teaching you to do? I don't want to be a hypocrite. I want to be somebody who in, has integrity. And if I'm teaching you how to do and manage your money properly, I want to manage my money properly. If I'm teaching you how to protect your assets, I want to be protecting my assets. If I'm teaching you how to grow your money and, and build your wealth the right way, I want to be growing my money and building my wealth the right way. It's important. If you make a ton of money, that that's great. But it, are you turning that income into wealth? Are you managing it properly? Are you protecting it properly? Are you growing it properly? Are you turning your income into wealth that will last? Because I'll tell you what, I've seen guys that make a ton of money and they don't save, they don't invest, they don't do anything, they don't protect anything. First life emergency comes in and they're wrecked. But I've seen guys that make very little. I've had people in my in my office that don't make very much according to what the world would perceive as making a lot of money. They sock away what they can. They, they put into savings the things that they can and they have wealth. They have money and savings and investments and their confidence, their peace, the life that they live is different. You see the guy over here just constantly going, going, going and the guy over here and he's making a ton of money but he's on the treadmill of life and then you see the guy over here who's saving and investing and taking the time to be conscientious and his life is just peaceful. He's got harmony. He's got peace and love and and stress is gone. Like this guy over here's got all the stress and this guy over here's got peace. Personally, I'd rather have peace. But what if you can make a ton of money, turn it into wealth and have peace while you're making a ton of money and building a ton of wealth? That's what I'm saying. Why not? Why can't you have both? Why can't you be making a ton of money, striving, fighting, being out in the world, making big things happen and still be wealthy and be at peace and be conscientious and be aware of what's going on? There's got to be a way to do both. And I'd like to find that way. And I'd like to find other people that are headed that same direction and we can work together and create something that's going to be awesome. One last thing before I invite you to come along this journey with me is that uh, there's a lot of people in this world who will use the skill sets to manipulate you into buying things that you don't need to impress people that you don't really care about in order to accumulate a bunch of stuff that's supposed to make you happy. But does it really ever make us happy? Do, do things and stuff make us happy? Or does family and relationships and peace and harmony and love and contentment and conscientiousness. Do those things make us happy? See, you're going to either be manipulated into buying things you don't need to buy or you're going to be persuaded into doing the things that you need to do to make your life better. Manipulation is for the benefit of the person doing the manipulating and persuasion is for the benefit of the person being persuaded. See, I don't want to manipulate you into subscribing to my channel and buying my course and joining me in my community, but I want to persuade you into joining with me and to subscribing so that you can have a better outcome in your life so that together we can create something better. I've spent 20 years learning how to manage and protect and grow my money. As a financial professional, I've seen hundreds and thousands of people that don't know how to manage, protect, or grow their money. I've watched their lifestyle. I've watched how they live. I watch how they treat their kids. I, I watch how they treat their spouses. I watch how they treat their brothers and sisters. I watch how they live life. It's in chaos. There's tons of stress. I've seen other people that have followed the advice that I've been given and that I've received myself to manage, protect, and grow their money properly. And life is more peaceful. Life is more content. Life is just more full. There's more value. I don't worry about a lot of things. I don't have a lot of stress. Do I have stress and, and worries? Absolutely. But most of the worries and stresses that you hear people having, I don't have a lot of those because I've taken the steps necessary to be able to do the things that I need to do to get that stress and that worry out of my life. I'd love to hang out with more people like that. The bottom line, I'd love to hang out with more people who are willing to do what it takes to live a life that's peaceful, that's serene, that's got temperance, that's got conscientiousness, that's got awareness, that's got philanthropy, that's got just solid, good, wise people. That's who I want to hang out with. So anyways, I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. I hope you took a minute or two to kind of reflect on your own life. I hope that uh, my reflection 
is inspiration and persuasion for you to be able to take some time to introspect and to take a little bit of time to think about what's going on in your own life. I definitely want to persuade you to do good and to be good and to make better decisions with your life, be better prepared and to be more self-reliant. I really feel good about getting this video out. I hope you got a lot out of it too. I really look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Take care.